We're standing in front of 17507 Plumera Lane, North Fort Myers. We're in the Sable Springs Golf and Racquet Club. And this video is being shot for a specific client so they can get a look at the home. Uh, this is a very nice home. I'll put stats on the screen. There you go. As you can see, it is built in the year 2000. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's got 1,693 square feet under air. Uh, but it has 2,457 total square feet. That's including garage space and other area space. Um, and uh, I'll put a list price at the end of the video that this property is currently priced under. But I'll start by taking the outside here. That uh, It's got a very nice look to it. The house appears to be in pristine condition. Um, purpose of this video is to show up anything that's not perfect. Um, looks like the house has just been painted very, very recently. I know that... Uh, the houses here do get repainted. I think it's every five years and this looks almost perfect. So I'm assuming this was just painted. I notice it's a dimensional shingle on the roof. Although it does have some discolorment, so it's not a new roof. The, the dimensional shingle means it's an updated style of shingle, but it does have a little bit of discolorment, which uh, means we do wanna just double check the age of the roof. I don't see any signs outside whatsoever of roof problems though. And uh, landscaping looks very, very nice. The only thing I notice about the landscaping is the concrete curving around this tree here is cracked a little bit. Not a big deal at all. We do have a nice big palm tree here out front. We do have uh, all kinds of nice uh, landscape in the front with the river rock, very well taken care of, bird of paradise. A lot of Christmas palms right here. And uh, the driveway, as you can see underneath the truck here, that is a stamped, concrete driveway that uh, goes into the walkway as well and there's our entryway I'll uh, run around back for a second then we'll go in and uh, we'll do that just by heading over here down the side of the home the con concrete curbing runs around the entire home in uh, very very nice shape now right here I see some of the marks right here, so it does not appear that the uh, entire house is repainted. I mean, the paint's in excellent shape, but now I see those marks here, so maybe just the decorative bands in front were painted, I don't know, or else the paint's just in really good shape. Soffit's in very nice shape. Coming back here. Another little palm tree right here to accent the back. Here's our backyard, and we are right on one of the golf holes. Back here, we've got uh, the screen and I, but I'll head over here and show you that our view is of the golf course looking back here, looking straight down. So that certainly is nice. All the homes are in beautiful shape. Coming around here, you see the entire home and how it's set up here with the uh, screen and lanai. And that curbing goes all the way around. Got a little island right here also with a couple of date palms. Again, the only negative I can find is that the concrete curbing is cracked right there and right there. No big deal at all. This appears very nice. Screening's in nice shape. I don't really notice any silvering of the screen, which would mean it's getting older. Uh, it doesn't seem to appear that, so it looks to be in good shape. Concrete curbing here, a little crack right there. Minor. Date palms in great shape and uh, sunshade up over the lanai. We'll take a closer look at that lanai from the inside. Maybe some pressure washing on this curbing over here because you can see the black spotting. Side of the home is in great shape. Very nice plants all the way around. And uh, as we enter the home, the owner is here and that's because uh, the uh, showing company didn't get me the instructions correctly or in a timely fashion. But uh, we can work around that. Now I get around here, I do see, maybe it's not brand new, just a little bit of streaking. Boy, it sure is holding up nice though, you know? Really, really is, side lights on each side. There's our address right there. So let's take a walk inside here. I love the big entryway here as you walk up. All nicely screened. Up to the front door. Nice, beautiful entry door here. Everything here appears to be in perfect condition. Really don't see anything here at all. 
typical, you know, just uh, handles weathered a little bit, which is very typical for Florida. Now coming inside, we're going to be greeted by the dog. But uh, I'm first going to give you a view of, of the camera here around the room. And uh, what I'm noticing is the tile's in excellent condition. In the entryway here, we've got carpeting that looks like brand new, ran through the main part of the home. Got soaring vaulted ceilings. It's a very large room. We've got a four-door slider with light up overhead looking out at the golf course and your lanai back there. So as I step in here, I, uh, I don't even think the carpet needs cleaning. It's in such good condition. The paint is excellent. I don't see any uh, signs of the paint job uh, going bad. Yeah, we can silence that. That'd be great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Um, looking at all the cracks, I see absolutely no signs whatsoever anywhere of any roof problems because you would see discolorment. I mean, everything is just perfect. Okay. So, no reason to even think about painting in here. Uh, from what I can see, super, super perfect so far. So, maybe I see a little tiny scuff right there. No big deal. And maybe a couple little tiny up here by the uh, up there you can see a couple spots in the paint and they correspond with about the distance of a ladder so my guess is that somebody changed the batteries in the smoke detector and that's probably just dirt that'll clean off all right let's uh, head over here to the bedrooms and then we'll do the kitchen last this is a pocket slider it's got raised panel on it master bedroom it's a nice size bedroom tastefully decorated again no signs of any problems We've got the speaker there in the ceiling and a speaker over there uh, five panel drop down ceiling fan nice window coverings we've got slider here that uh, looks out onto the lanai it's a nice size room you can fit any size bedroom set you want in here from the looks of it i like the vaulted ceiling this would be a walk-in closet right here. May I open it? Thanks. Okay, as you can see, it goes extra deep with several tiers to hang clothes and there's attic access inside. I also noticed decor switches throughout the house. That's a nice little upgrade. Got pocket slider here going into the master bath. I see a flat panel mica, easy to keep clean, dual sinks, cultured marble top, large mirror. Light bar up overhead, medicine cabinet right there. Nice tile floors, again in a meticulous condition. Got a large marble tub, and this is a Whirlpool tub. You see the Whirlpool jets inside. And everything showed, I don't see any signs of any kind of wear whatsoever. So, looks like it's never been used. Got uh, twin lights up overhead. Here's our shower, trying to come into focus here. There we go. It's a very large shower as you look inside. Lots of tile. Again, very, very nice condition. Behind me, stool, that's a elongated stool. That's a water saver toilet, which is a nice plus. So that does it for the master bedroom. Coming through here, I'll show you the kitchen real quick. Walk into the kitchen here. Soaring vaulted ceilings. A good use of vaulted ceilings throughout the home. Really makes it feel very large. There's our drop down light. Uh, I really like that. That's very pretty for the uh, dinette area here. And there's a lot of room. This is a nice size dinette. So you could certainly have even a little bit bigger table than that in here if you wanted. Sliding glass door looking out at the lanai and the golf course. Views of the golf course through the windows there. And tile in just perfect condition. Maybe the only thing that I would recommend is hire a tile cleaner to come in. Uh, if you look in the corner, you can see the original color of the grout, which is pretty normal. That with usage, tends to darken up a little bit. A good tile cleaner, I'll get that looking brand new. Um, and I just happen to know one. So we can set you up with that. Looking back at the kitchen, flat panel cabinetry, just matching throughout the home. And uh, 
got six canister lights shining down in the kitchen, so you have lots of light. Look at the counters. You've got uh, solid surface counters. It's a Corian counter with a rounded edge, so it's very easy to keep clean. Uh, full appliance set. Uh, we've got a flat burner, four burner stove, microwave oven, side by side refrigerator, and a dishwasher over here. Lots of cabinet space. Cabinets all appear in excellent condition. And we also have a very nice tile backsplash, if you can see in that right there. It runs up behind and underneath the cabinets on both sides. So, while we're here, we'll take a quick look at the laundry room. Looks like we got twin closets for storage in the laundry room. Nice closet here. Vaulted ceilings in here again. Another big storage closet over here. Uh, washer and dryer hookups are right here with the washer and dryers. Are the washer and dryer included? Yes. Washer and dryer are included. I'll take a quick peek in the garage so you can get a look at how big that is. Looking out in the garage now. Immediately I see a wash tub, which is a big plus. Those are nice to have. A uh, water heater with a water heater jacket on it. Um, you can see that everything is very, very well kept, very clean, nicely painted. And uh, pride of ownership shows. Looking behind me here is our electric panel right there. We do have a pull down attic access right there and good use of some shelving for extra storage in the garage. That is a hurricane strength garage door and uh, electric garage door opener. Also, I do want to point out that the floor is painted and this is a full size car. You can see that a full size car fits easily in the garage. All right, with that, let me take a walk down to the other bedrooms. As we head over here, by the way, that was the front door we came in originally. It has a beautiful half circle light overhead and a canister light up there. Again, in an effort to point out anything that you can't see, only thing I can find is a extremely tiny, not even worth mentioning, part where the tape is cracking. And that always happens on your vaulted ceilings. Uh, that's a 10 second fix. And a couple of marks on the ceiling, again, probably from a ladder from somebody going up there to change a light bulb. Coming over here, raised panel doors throughout, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but there are lever handles on the door, which are easy to open. Again, like the living room, the carpet in this room is perfect. Vaulted ceilings again in here. They use this as an office, as you can tell, but certainly can be used as a bedroom. Um, you've got closets there. This would be classified as the den. If you look, uh, most of these homes are classified as a two bedroom plus a den. So this would definitely be called a den, but is a full legal bedroom if you needed to use it as such. So I've got a uh, seating fan with five blades here. And the only thing I noticed in this room is the smoke detector is missing. Uh, that's no bigger, big deal, those are 10 bucks. Let's uh, take a look in the final bedroom over here. Very nice condition. Again, vaulted ceilings. So I don't believe there's a single room in the home that has flat ceilings. So good architectural use of design. Uh, big size room. Dual closets right here. Standard closet. Uh, you're going to have your ventilated shelving inside, as you can see, and lots of room for storage. So overall, as homes go, this is extremely good condition. Um, I would recommend this home to just about anybody. Uh, somebody wants to get into a house that doesn't need any work, this would be that home. Let me finish the video by giving you a quick look outside here at the Lanai though. They do have a little doggy door set up over here, but that can easily be removed. There's your slider that goes over to the dinette. Over here is the slider that heads over to the uh, master bedroom. And uh, I got a lot of room out here. Oh, thank you. Wraps around. Oh, yeah. I'll head out over there. There we go. Okay, this head out here. Here's our ceilings up here. We've got a ceiling fan coming down. Um, as is typical, I'm noticing tiny spots of rust right there. And uh, try not to get that in Florida with an outside ceiling fan. That's just normal. Also, they have speakers out here. Speaker grills show just a little bit of rust right there. And up overhead right here as well. Again, try not to get that in Florida. Those can pop off and be repainted and look like brand new very easily. I do like the uh, pattern in the floor out here. It's very nice. Got a lot of room. This is an extended lanai, as you heard him say. 
Um, a lot of the houses do that here. I like the Sunbrella cover over the top. Keeps the hot, hot heat out. And over there is our side entrance. But look at the view of the golf course. Isn't that pretty? Very, very nice. So that will conclude my video here today. I'll put my information on the screen in case you want more information about videotaping homes like this. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this home for your consideration. My name is Dave Detman, local real estate broker, associate with Real Edge Real Estate Brokerage and host of Flipping Florida. You take care and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.